Welcome back to Free Media. I'm Robbie Suave. And I'm Amber Duke. Pennsylvania Governor Josh Shapiro is big mad at billionaire Elon Musk. The billionaire has thrown his weight behind Donald Trump, launching a million dollar giveaway scheme through his super PAC, all tied to a petition for free speech and gun rights, which I think are good things. Shapiro was questioned about Elon Musk's move on NBC News, where he suggested that law enforcement should take a look into the prize. Let's watch. I think there are real questions with how he is spending money uh, in this race, how the dark money is flowing, uh, not just into Pennsylvania, but apparently now into the pockets of Pennsylvanians. Um, that is deeply concerning. Look, Musk obviously has a right to be able to express his views. He's made it very, very clear that he supports Donald Trump. I, I don't, obviously we have a difference of opinion. Uh, I, I don't deny him that right. But when you start flowing this kind of money into politics, I think it raises serious questions that uh, folks may want to take a look at. So you think it might not be legal, yes or no? I think it's something that law enforcement could take a look at. I'm not okay. the attorney general anymore of Pennsylvania, I'm the governor, uh, but it does raise some serious questions. His statements there were almost criminally vague, and I'm using that in a metaphorical sense because <laughs> I don't think speech should be criminalized, unlike some people. So vague, the dark money is flowing in the state is it dark money if it's, e it you know, it's Elon Musk? <laughs> right, we do. Well, he is, a, he is an African-American. Uh, it's uh, going to, and it's going to what the voters of Pennsylvania, which Josh Shapiro says at the end, is that a that's a bad thing. Um, th this is clearly, you know, you can find a legal expert to express any opinion there is. So I'm sure some, per and, and I have seen campaign finance law experts on social media saying, oh yes, this is legal. This is not illegal. Um, it's fine. Uh, Donald Trump is, uh, Elon Musk is spending his money on behalf of uh, Donald Trump. I mean, this does go to show you that this whole PAC system that arose after campaign finance law came into creation is actually entirely stupid. And you're, you still have people, firms, lobbyists giving massive amount of money to politics. And they now just have this little middleman process they follow. And in fact, the smarter, better connected, more insidery type things are better at doing it because there is more law and regulation. It does not keep money out of politics. Now, I think that's because keeping money out of politics is actually impossible as long as the stakes of politics are very high. Um, if we made politics less important, if we made the federal government do less, then maybe people, firms, lobbyists wouldn't spend so many gazillion dollars trying to get their preferred guy elected. As long as the stakes are high, politically connected insiders will find a way to spend money on the things that matter to them. Yeah, I think that's true. And Josh Shapiro belly aching about dark money is also kind of funny because Kamala Harris, despite previously pledging that she would never take dark money, according to a uh, guest we had on from The Lever on The Purple Show. Uh, <laughs> Rising. <yeah. laughs> this is The Orange Show, that's The Purple Show. Um, she is taking all kinds of quote unquote dark money, which just means pack money, right? Like right. It, people try to make it sound really scary. It's just people give donations to a political action committee and because it's not directly to the campaign, their names are kept anonymous, whatever, big deal, who cares? Um, and apparently Elon Musk has been quite creative in the way that he's doing this million dollar giveaway specifically to avoid any campaign finance violations. So he's not giving the money to people for registering to vote. He's giving money to people who sign the petition because it is expressly illegal to, yeah. you know, incentivize people to sign up to vote by yeah. giving them money. Although so, even though that sounds a little weird, I, I didn't know yeah. that until this, like yeah. it's illegal to pay people to register to vote? It is, yeah. Um, huh. So he's doing it based on who signs the petition. And if you're in a swing state and you're a registered voter, you're eligible to get the million dollar prize. And then apparently, I just learned this earlier today, apparently he's not even giving it as a gift or a prize, he's actually, having these people become an independent contractor for one of his companies, and then he's paying them the million dollars through like a 1099, which is fascinating. You have to sign up to be an ex-moderator first, and then you, and then you get the payment? I think, it's like, I think it's because you become a contractor for America PAC is what it is. But, okay. but yeah, no, I mean, no. that'd be, imagine if you could get a <laughs> SpaceX on your resume by winning a million dollars through the, the Musk's really millions, cool. right? Really I would cool. love that. Um, yeah, well, you know, you have to briefly become an ex-moderator and then you get like a quiz, like Hunter Biden laptop story, publish or go post. You hit no, like, no, no million dollar giveaway yeah, for you. Right. You failed this test. It's like a Willy Wonka who takes over the chocolate factory yes. kind of test and you 
If you steal the everlasting gobstopper, you don't give the money. Um, yeah, look, Elon should spend his money. However, it's, it's his money. Like, that's right. the, when politicians get mad about too much money being in politics, I'm like, well, people are spending their money. I don't really care. If they're, it's, it's what, the government spends my money on things I don't like. So what's the greater crime? And then there's enough billionaires on both sides of the aisle. Sure, and, Alex Soros, right, all his, you know, they, friends with right, Walls and Reed Harris. Hoffman, and, I mean, they effectively cancel each other out. Yeah. And, and, and solely getting money from billionaires is not what's going to decide an election. If anything, it's it's been proven not to be true because Democrats have outspent Republicans in basically every election for the past decade, and yet Republicans still win a lot of the time. Yeah. So the idea that money is driving politics I don't think is accurate, especially in our current sort of populist era with Donald Trump uh, rising to the scene in 2015. Money could definitely help a candidate, a political unknown, raise their media profile. I mean, money definitely helps. Definitely. But, for, but we're talking about people, Donald Trump, Kamala Harris, Joe Biden, who already have such exposure through the media, who get earned media, free media. Um, without having to spend money, that it, it it can only make a difference up until a point. I think it's I think it's it's corrupting influence is in terms of elections is overstated. And at the end right. of the day, it is speech. And I philosophically believe that it is that m these efforts to regulate it do run afoul of the First Amendment, as a majority of the Supreme Court. Uh, also feels that way. I, I think you could have different rules for influencing the actual members of government, maybe, but in, in terms of just running a campaign, that's a free speech issue. Exactly. And if you talk to anybody who's actually worked on a campaign, particularly people at high levels, they will tell you, you can have all the money in the world, you can have an amazing ground game even, you can have a really good media strategy, but if you have a bad candidate, none of those things are going to overcome the fact that your person is just not going to attract the voters. So I completely agree. I think the this fear mongering about money and politics is very, very overblown. Um, lobbying, obviously, a different question, which we just alluded to. But um, yeah. the the freak out over Elon Musk is just ridiculous. Elon Musk derangement syndrome. It is. It's becoming its own thing. That's what it is. Yeah. More free media coming up next.